This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2001 Ford F350 XL, uh, 7.3 liter turbo diesel. It's two wheel drive. Obviously, it's a work truck. We bought it directly from an insurance company. Um, it's on a salvage title due to theft. Has 130,000 miles. Um, it's got dents and rot. It's just, I mean, it's just a work truck, you know. So we really didn't do anything for it cosmetically. Um, the seat was all torn up, so we had it re recovered. We fixed one door latch on one of the uh, locking doors, and uh, that's about it. Um, we figured we'll just keep it really cheap. You know, things like this valance is broken. The hood is just clear coat and peeling. It's just, just figured that, you know, somebody wants a really good 7.3 diesel work truck that's going to run forever. Um, and doesn't really care what it looks like, just wants to make money with it, this would be it. There's your driver tire, front tire. It's a nice Michelin, probably 60 or 70% tread. Like I said, we're not looking here at beauty queens. <laughs> this is not a beauty queen by any measure, but it's a work truck. This whole fender has just, you know, pretty much been left in the sun, and it's pretty much gone, paint-wise, clear coat-wise. Um, any paint or dent issues, if you've got problems with that, don't buy it. Passenger front tire is about the same as the driver front, probably 60%, maybe 70% tread on a Michelin. Let me go look at the tires real quick. I'm going to have somebody come out here and help me. The rear tires are not the same Michelin quality tires. And they're probably maybe 20, 10, 20% tread. You do need rear tires. We're going to open up these doors one at a time. That's one right there. There's two. There's three. And we got some uh, shells in there for stuff, whatever. Let's open this bottom here. Okay. Look in the bed here. Got a huge bed going on here. If it comes down, pull these out. Obviously, I don't I guess we could. One of those. That comes down like that. Alright, you can put it back up. Come around here and show you these rear tires. Like I said, it does need rear tires. Front tires are fine. Rear tires, it's going to need. Um, we had to put a new uh, new latch on this door. This door, we had to do a little repair work. Not sure why we still have this on there. Is there a reason for that? That opens. Oh, I see. Oh, system. oh, I see you. <laughs> pulls that up and then it breaks. <laughs> and then this one will come down, which we will fix oh, right I now. See. All right. So there was a reason for that being there. Anyway, we'll put that pulley system back together. But uh, that's what that was. We're going to open up these. Like I said, we didn't want to spend any money on this thing. We wanted to keep the price down. There's that. All right. Figure anyone who wants a truck that's pretty much got all the abuse pre-abused. All right, thank you, Robbie. He's gonna lock that so it's closed. And I will drive it in a minute. Anyway, there's uh, some nicks in the door. Probably had a sign or something on the door. But yeah, that door right there, that handle was really hammered. We had to work really hard to get that latch on there. Obviously, we still have some issues with it. I think we should put like a chain or something between those, which we will. We'll figure it out. Anyway, there's your uh, Ford emblem. There's a, uh, one new battery. The other battery came with it. There's your Ford emblem on your uh, core support. That tells you that it hasn't been wrecked or any kind of front-end damage. Uh, when they do that, they don't replace them with Ford parts because this core support is probably worth more than the truck would uh, be worth. If you actually pay cash for it. There's your Ford stamp on that fender. And everything's where it's supposed to be.
All right. This seat was vinyl, um, and it had a million holes in it. So we did you a favor, and we uh, put some cloth on it. Let's look at the roof real quick. Yeah, and the roof looks like the rest of the truck. Scraped up and whatever. It's a nice size bed there. All right, anyway, there's your door panels. The vinyl floor is in one piece. That's kind of unusual. Usually there's a big hole worn in it. Like I said, if you're looking for a show truck, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> really disappointed. Let's see. I would say you buy four 16 inch tires for the rear and never do anything again except change the oil and filters. This thing will go for 150,000 more miles and you'll make a fortune on this thing. Let's see. Let's see if the radio works. The radio works. There you go. The air is definitely working. Yeah, let's see if the settings work. Yep. Air works fine. Got a cup holder. Top of the dash. Actually, the interior is in really good shape. Uh, we fixed that seat, and that was about it. 131,000 miles. And this thing has tilt, which is kind of unusual in an XL. Tilt and cruise, another unusual thing. Anyhow, let's go take it on a ride. Now, it's on a salvage title. So in order to get plates uh, and insurance, you're going to need a restored salvage title. Um, we will take it. If you come to Tucson to drive it home, that's mandatory. That uh, means we have to take it to motor vehicles. We'll do that for $200. Uh, 50 goes to the state, 150 goes to us. Why so much? Because we have to get up about 6 in the morning and we are not allowed to leave the vehicle there anymore. Uh, about six months ago, they stopped letting us do that. So we have to sit there with it and it could be anywhere from 15 minutes to 5 o'clock in the afternoon before we leave, depending on what's what they're doing. And if you've ever been to motor vehicles, you know what they could be doing, which is a whole lot of nothing or they could be slammed and they'll still make you wait. Um, anyhow, um, so that's $200. Um, if you want to come here and drive it away, we got to get it restored. Uh, we'll get a restored salvage title and you get plates and insurance then. We also have a $250 dock fee for everyone who comes here to pick it up in person. We also have to pay taxes. 2% uh, city tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is zero, like Alaska or, or Oregon or a couple other states, all you're going to pay is 2% tax plus the dock fee of $250 plus the restore fee of 200 and that's it. If, say you're an Arizona resident, Arizona resident state tax is 7.1. So you're gonna pay 7.1 plus the 2% tax for a total of 9.1% tax, plus 250 doc fee, plus a $200 fee to restore the title. If you're from out of state and you wanna pay by wire and ship like most of our out of state buyers do, unless they're bordering us, um, all you pay is the agreed upon price, pay by wire. Uh, we'll mail you the title out the second we get the money. Um, and then you can have it shipped. We have a recommended shipper, Fred at Beacon Shipping Logistics. We don't arrange shipping, but we've uh, recommended him for a long time. He brings all of our vehicles to us. He communicates really, really well. When there's a problem or a trucker doesn't show up, he doesn't tell you that everything's fine when it's not. <laughs> he doesn't give you the lowest prices because he knows it'll never get picked up if you get the lowest price. Lowest price is not a good thing in shipping. Um, so if you want to pay by wire and ship, it's just that price. If you want us to restore the title before it ships out, which I recommend in most cases, um, then just add $200. But if you don't want us to restore the title, please make sure that you know that in your state that the truck, an Arizona salvage title, and a bill of sale is all you need to get the title restored or rebuilt or whatever they call it in your state. Call Motor Vehicles, get the person to tell you uh, that it's okay, and get their first and last name so you can kill somebody when they change the rules on you when you get there. <laughs> anyway, let's go from zero here. 
big heavy truck here. That big bed on it. This thing runs great. Yeah, nothing going on here. Um, even with the bad tires in the back, it feels fine. Uh, what else? Please make sure you get a deposit in. We don't have a deposit. We don't have a deal. Without a deposit, um, if somebody else comes out, comes in after you with an acceptable price uh, offer um, and a deposit, we'll sell it to them. Um, we can't just hold vehicles on promises. We don't know you. you so, you know, we, if we did that, we would never sell anything because people make offers all the time and we never hear from them again. So, anyway, uh, please make sure you get that deposit in. This is a really nice uh, running work truck. Uh, it's got some cosmetic issues and you know, if, if you got a problem with that, don't buy it. But if you need a good work truck uh, that has the famous 7.3 diesel motor in it and low miles, uh, 131 on a 7.3 is brand new. Um, if you know what a 7.3 is. Tranny shifts perfect, air works, cruise, tilt, radio, even a cassette. No CD, but a cassette, that's weird. Um, and uh, a functional uh, utility box, dinged up, nicked up, but functional. Uh, we'll get that door squared away also. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend and a great week. Thanks.